you doing? Hope everybody's doing good. Um, okay. Uh, the one thing I do want to say here is uh, we got some bad news. I, I don't know they've got it completely fleshed out. Uh, they, they got it more or less figured out in basic terms. I just don't know. Okay, let me see. make sure I got everything. Um, the bad news is, uh, and, and here's the thing. I honestly think it's a minority of people. I don't, I don't think it's an overwhelming number, but, uh, the, uh, The amendment that they were looking for, the Chuck Schumer amendment, that would, uh, I mean, I, I, I want to, and again, I want to stress this, I don't think it was all that in a bag of chips, but I do think it's better than what we got, and right now, I would take a half a loaf and be happy with it, rather than waiting for a full loaf. Uh, uh, I'll go this way. Uh, Chuck Schumer's amendment had at least two things pulled from it. And uh, and I, I'm going to go off and it's going to be a little political, some people would say. But I don't think it is. I think facts and reality are not political, or at least they shouldn't be. And it also, it kind of explains how fucked up things are right now, in my opinion. But, like, uh, there was a thing in that Schumer Amendment that would create something similar to the, uh, like, a presidential JFK-style panel uh, to declassify the JFK documents, which uh, I, I think there's a lot of people out there, people more credible, smarter, more talented than me, that will tell you the same thing. I've, it didn't go far enough. There, you know, and and the the one, and I, I don't, again, I'm not gonna say he's smarter than me. I do think he's a good guy on this. I don't think I'm not gonna say he's any dumber than me, but uh, he he has been a good guy on the UFO issue, and I think he weigh, I think he weighed in. If he didn't weigh in on JFK, he weighed in on like the Roswell incident and other incidents back then. Uh, he made the comment that after all this time, they should be able to just declassify everything. And I think he was talking about the JFK incident. He's like, look, everybody everybody that had anything to fear from going to jail, they're all dead now. He goes, you should just be able to tell us this. you know. And I'm like, yeah, that is that is a sensible thing for since sensible times. And uh, he has been gung-ho about... Uh, Okay, I I'm not entirely sure. I uh because of the problems I've been having and I've been trying to test stuff, I have been leaving this thing on and not playing it just to see if it would crash. Well, in some of the areas where I'm doing this, I have like over there, I have to leave it in peaceful or I have to sit there and micromanage it. It's not safe. So I have been putting it in peaceful as part of the troubleshooting. Uh, on the old game, I've really been trying to avoid it, but when this thing starts fucking up and leaps and bounds, I don't really have any choice. Uh, and I'm really, because the last game I was playing, I'm really trying not to do it here. So Mojang, if you could 
fix your shit and quit putting stuff in the game that's going to fuck it up. You know, just, you know, if it, you know, seriously, I don't care how long it takes you. There is plenty of shit in the game. And nobody is against you adding shit to the game, but don't do it if you guys are going to keep fucking up the game and fucking up the game and fucking up the game. Just leave that shit out, please. Well, anyways, uh, they're taking that out so there won't be any presidential panel to go through the uh, the thing, through the documents and everything. And the other thing they're taking out is the... Uh, the imminent domain to take back all the UFO stuff from the end from the military contractors and others that have been like keeping it all secret in some cases illegally and they may be responsible for harassing and or killing people to keep this secret uh, uh, that was reported by uh, the need to know podcast with uh, Ross Colthart and I, think Z- I can't remember the guy's first name. I think it's Zabel. And if you do uh, if you do need to know and type in Coulthart, C-O-U-L-T-H-A-R-T or A-R-D-T is how you spell it, um, you'll bring them up. If you don't put that in there on Google at least, maybe on YouTube, it will bring up another podcast, and I have no idea what they do, but they apparently they've had the name longer. And they're more recognized. But uh, they were talking about this and how... Uh, I, I came over yesterday. I was looking for... I, I know where some is on the... Uh, I know where some is on the main map uh, that I was on. But I really wasn't feeling great. And exploring seemed like a really cool thing to do. And, uh, so I figure, well, I'll go, I'll go explore this map and I'm, I'm looking for uh, dark oak. Uh, I need the wood. And I had one tree that I brought back. I brought back four saplings so I could start one. And, uh, and what happened was, uh, the second or third time I cut it down, it did not give me enough saplings to uh, to start a new one. So I'm um, out. And uh, and then the cool thing was I haven't figured out where I'm gonna put it. I haven't figured out where I'm going to put it, but uh, I need to eventually have a little uh, mining area. I haven't found one yet for this map, but I need I need to have a place where I can just go mine sand, and apparently this is the map for that. And I believe... I think I found two villages and two... Uh, desert temples. I think I found three, but one of them was on not on this map. But if you if you look up there on the map that I'm holding, I've got four green markers. I think they're two two villages and two desert temples. So that was kind of cool. I don't know if I'm going to do it today, but one of these days I will come over and uh, and I, I know it's redundant, but hey, you know maybe someone will, some, maybe someone needs it. And if I can take a few minutes and maybe help someone out, that that's like a good day for me. And But anyways, uh, so they took that out. And again, uh, when they were talking about it, I left a comment. But uh, Ross Coulthard, they might not have anything like eminent domain in Australia. You got to understand when Australia, and I, I am really not trying to rip on anybody, but I am not a lawyer. This is the best way I can explain it, and I am not 100% sure I'm right. But like Arizona was, or not Arizona, Australia was started out as a penal colony. 
by England. And, uh, I mean, it was. And so they might not have had it. And it, it, like, I don't know if it still is, but it was like Canada, like India. It was not an independent country. It was pretty much a colony of the British flag. And I, I don't know about Arizona, but I know in uh, Canada, this happened... I think it happened during the Bush administration. Uh, the Canadian government was doing something that the British Parliament didn't really like. And the Queen still, and I think the King still does, the Queen still had the ability to... Uh, basically dissolved the British Parliament, or the Australian Parliament, or the Canadian Parliament, which basically left the Prime Minister in charge until the next elections. And, uh... So, you know, that, that was a thing. But, uh... He might not understand it, and he was trained as a lawyer, but I'm, I'm, I'm gonna assume he was trained in Australia not America. And the ho the other host of the show, Zabel, he kind of weighed in on it why he thought they should have the right to do the eminent domain. And I, I'm not saying he was wrong. Um, and I'm not even saying I disagree with him. But I weighed in on it and I said, well, really the reason why I think they should have the right to do the eminent domain is most of these countries, because this, this is a thing, and and uh, Ross has done this before, where he's talking, well, they spent their own money, and they did this, and they did that, so it's, it really should be their property. And I pointed out, I go, most of these companies that you're talking about, even if they have spent their own money, um, even if they have spent their own money, it was basically ill-gotten gain because they were, you either they were or... Uh, the people they were connected to in the government were breaking the law. They were hiding stuff that should not have been hidden. They were keeping uh, rightfully elected people and appointed people out of the loop. And I mean, we saw this recently. If if you follow any of this, uh, this guy is, and I again, I, I, I think he's actually a nice guy, but politically, I think he's douchebag number one on most issues. But on on a few issues, you know, I think I mean I think they, uh, Dennis Hastert and uh, I think Dennis Hastert and uh, Ron Paul, not Ran, but the son Ron, or the dad, not the son Ran, but the dad Ron. You know, I I feel they're the same way. They're like douchebags on like ninety percent of the issues. But, you know, maybe nice guys. Uh, Hastert, I think, is genuinely a nice guy. But they're like douchebags on like 90% of the issues. But if you get, oh, my God, there's another Mesa over here. Ooh. And, you know, but if you get you get them on certain issues, they make a lot. Like, and again, I don't know where you are, but you take Ron Paul. That, that guy was a dumb fuck on a lot of issues. But, like, he, it was during a debate, and he literally, by the Republican parties, you know, the one time the guy was making sense, you know, he was talking about the war in Iraq at the time. And he said, look, and, you know, and this is when, I think this was around when uh, John McCain was going around and doing that bomb, 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 Iran shit, you know. And uh, he basically said, he goes, hey, you know, instead of going and bombing these people, why don't we go have a conversation with them? Let's find out why they're mad at us. And maybe, if it's something that isn't that important to us, maybe we can quit doing it. They'll quit attacking us. And, and we, you know, and again, I'm not saying, you know, we had to do it that way, but I am going to say it was a reasonable position to have. And it was really surprising to see a fucking Republican or right-wing guys say it but you know it's like hey that you know and uh burchett he's kind of the same way on on the ufo there's a lot of this stuff you listen to him like when he sits there and says hey with with like jfk or with roswell you know you've had this shit for so long everybody that's got to be affected by it's probably dead by now 
Ooh, excuse me. Oh, hang on. And, uh... I can't believe there's another fucking mesa over here. This is so cool. I gotta find one that isn't too close to where I'm at so I, you know I can go there I can do some evil shit like strip mine it and uh, come back and then never have to see it in my streams other than the uh, the evil 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 strip mining of it but um, but no so but he he couldn't figure out why they were doing that and you know and I you, you have to go watch it it's it's need to know I, I want to say it's like an hour hour and a half. But it was very, very good. And uh, I kind of told him, I go, well, you know, the reason why they should be doing that is because most of these companies were part of illegal activity. I mean, they just were. And uh, I'm going to have a call to action, so if you don't mind, please stick around for five or ten minutes. I'll try and muddle through this. And I really, I mean, if you care about UFOs, if you care about disclosure, hell, even if you don't believe in UFOs, if you just think that uh, people in the military and the intelligence community stealing billions of dollars is wrong, stick around. Please stick around. And uh, the... Uh, but I go, you know, that there that, that was illegal shit. I go, there were there were things that were going on, and I go, it was it's something that's been going on for 70 years. They have lied and lied and lied and lied to the American people. And I'm telling you now, uh, you know, there's all this money that's come up missing. But I, I was talking about, you know, imminent domain, so I was keeping it to that. But I go, most of these companies, even if they have spent their own money, even if they have spent their own money, uh, it was from illegal actions. I go, you had uh, the U.S. government, whether it was military or the intelligence or just the government outright, they were giving unfair and illegal advantage to certain companies. And I go, I'm pretty sure the contracting was messed up. And I go, all of that money, even the money, you know, the money they've been paying their, their uh, people money that they've been paying to, to build stuff, to go research stuff, to uh, dig up stuff. I go, it's all ill-gotten gain. And I go, that's why they should be able to... Oh! Hang on. Okay, I'm gonna... Ooh. And I go, you know, they've gotten this illegal gain from them. And I go, that money should be forfeit. I want to come back because I want to get the loot in there. I'm not going to fuck with it now. I don't have a lot of room. I don't have a ender chest that I can uh, use and break to put stuff in it. And uh, so I just, I don't want to fuck with this shit right now because my, otherwise my inventory is going to fill up fast. And I'll have to waste a whole lot of time going back and forth instead of just getting this mapped out. Well, anyways, uh, I go, all, all this stuff is illegal. And I go, some of these people should be, it should all be looked into whether these people know, need to go to jail. And as far as these companies go, I go, there were likely fraudulent contracts. There was li likely fraudulent deals because they were getting an advantage from it. And I go, you likely have people that have a right to sue these companies because they or a family member lost a job. They likely have a right to sue these companies because they lost a pension. 
I go, there are companies, uh, you know, people that own the companies likely have a right to sue because a company they owned went out of business. And I go, and I go just like with Fox News, where uh, Fox News is being sued because they lied, and because of them lying and because of the uh, uh, defamation suit, they had to pay out like something like a, almost a billion dollars. Uh, there are people that likely, you know, they may have invested into these companies, or they may have invested into other companies. And these companies have a right to be sued for the, those lost investments, just like you have investment firms suing uh, Fox News so they can get back their losses from the lies and everything. And I go, the, these people have lied over and over and over again. And, you know, and I go, the, you, the government should not be blocking this. And I go, hope that makes sense. And th this is the call to action. I, I mean all of that. Regardless if that there's aliens. Um, you know, regardless if there's aliens, we know that something like every time they've audited the military, there's been like a billion dollars every time that they can't find. And I go, and you've had people come into Congress and testify under oath that there are groups out there, shadow parts of the government, that are making lots of money disappear. They're like taking money, they're, they're stealing, they're robbing from Peter to, to pay Paul. And that's illegal. It's like it's nothing different than Iran Contra. And I go, you know, and I'm so what I'm doing is I wrote the president on threads, I tagged him in it, and I tagged a few others in it. I'm really asking you to tag, write, email. Uh, give them a call. Let, let me see here a second. Uh, oh, shit. Hang on a sec. Okay. Okay, got that up. If, if I had my setup, I could put some of this. I would have had it prepped in, but I, I just can't do it. Uh, okay. Okay, let's see. Okay, I'm going to put it into peaceful until I get done with this. I, uh... Okay, now this is the number for the house switchboard, and it's 202. Understand, calling them and being a dumbass can land you into legal problems. 
So if you call, be polite, be respectful. Uh, I mean that because you're on your own if you fuck up. Okay, so the Congress DC House switchboard is area code 202-224-3121. Okay, so we got that one. And then, uh, here we go. Okay, it's the same number. So if you want to call your senator, it's the same number. Uh, you can call them. Uh, you can call them. And if you want, please uh, just copy this part out, send it, like just take this part later on YouTube or on here. Just I think I'm set up to allow people to do it. Just cut out everything on this. Don't add or edit because I'll have the original here. So don't, don't fuck around. Seriously, there's no point in causing problems on this because they will come after you. Uh, but just call them and get a hold of your uh, your members in Washington. Uh, let me see if I can find. Okay, now the president. I'm I'm being completely honest. This thing works pretty. F oh shit! I keep fucking up here. Um, I've actually used this myself. And uh, what you do is you get on there, and I think you just type in email the president or email president form in Google and what it'll do is it'll bring it up it's a nice little thing you just put in your information you put in if you want to be contacted back and uh, if you know I I've even not asked to be contacted back I've even asked like and this might be a Biden thing and you know but I even put in there on some of the stuff, you know, I don't need an answer. I just, I need you guys to do something. Well, he got a hold of me. I got an e I got like a letter from him, I think, or an email letting them know that they had passed my letter on to the affected agencies. And I got contacted by them and I didn't expect any of that. That to me was just wasted time, but uh, you can do that. But this is the way to get a hold of your, I guess your house and your Senate members you basically would, uh, they'd have to know your zip code. And then uh, what they would do is they would, uh, they would, you know, put patch you through or give you a voicemail so you can talk to or something. But it's a way to get a hold of them. You can get online once you find out who it is. Uh, and they'd be able to tell you. You'd be able to look them up online. A lot of your representatives, they have... Uh, they have a fairly easy way for you to contact them. You know, but the thing is, they're not going to contact people that are not in their district. They're not going to con probably contact people that are rude. They're going to probably turn them in. And, and again, under normal circumstance, they would do this. We're a couple years later from that terrorist attack on the Capitol. They're definitely going to fucking hand you over if you call them up and you're a little fucking asshole about shit. They, they literally are. It's not worth it. Well, I, it's not worth it for me. I'm hoping it's not worth it for you. Just be polite. Get a hold of them. Uh, but the thing I would let them know, and you might want to get a hold of Chuck Schumer because he's the majority leader in the uh, Senate, and I would recommend getting a hold of uh, Hakeem Jeffries. Uh, both of them are on threads. I think I don't know if they still are. Both of them, I think, used to be on uh, Twitter. But uh, I would recommend you get off Twitter because that's just going to hell in a handbasket. It really is. But uh, both of them are on threads. Uh, both of them probably have an email account or an email form you can reach out to them on. But I would also write them, uh, as well as the president and as well as your local congressmen and senators, and uh, and here's the thing. If you're like me and you got one good senator and you got one douchebag, maybe you just contact the good senator and don't contact the douchebag. You know, uh, like Ron Johnson, my opinion, he's a douchebag. Uh, but don't contact them. Uh, but write them, call them, contact them any way you can. And the thing I would tell them is, uh, and, you know, copy them in on it, but I would be asking the president, letting him know he really needs to write up an executive order 
that he, as commander in chief, is declassing, declassifying everything surrounding UFOs, UAPs, non human intelligence, anything non man made, you know, basically like it's worded in uh, Schumer's amendment. Uh, basically, you know, just you're going to declassify all of it across the board, every fucking scrap of paper declassified. And then tell him he needs to send that to everybody involved. Because I told him, I go, when I copied, when I uh, wrote to him, I go, it's getting old when we constantly see a handful of Republicans. And in this case, I think I keep hearing two names. Uh, you know, there's others, but it sounds like there's two fucking ringleaders in this thing. Uh, Mike Turner from Ohio. And uh, there's another Mike, I think. Uh the one guy in Ohio, if it's Mike Turner, I think it is, but I'm not 100% sure. Uh, he's got Wright-Patterson Air Force Base in his district. Because it even made it through the Senate. I guess Mitch McConnell and some others were holding it up. But he's got Wright-Patterson Air Force Base, and my understanding is it used to be called Wright Field. And uh, it's one of the places where wreckage from Roswell was taken, is what I've heard. Don't know if it's true or not. wasn't there. I wasn't even alive when that happened. But they have some pull in this. And uh, the other thing is, uh, the other Senate, or the other House member, it sounds like he has a lot of military contractors in his state. And these two motherfuckers, I'm sorry, they need to be like NASCAR. They should put, have to put a sticker on their back that says, bought and paid for by special interest. I'm sorry, that's just bullshit. And uh, and just let the president know that he needs to, you know, write that up. He doesn't need to sign it right away, but he needs to write it up. And he needs to tell, he needs to, you know, send it out to all the affected people, the members of Congress. He'll get a lot of support, even from some on the right in Congress, because there's that Tim Burchin, he's not alone, but there's a lot of them that are like, hey, You've had this shit for 70 years. He goes, I'm not vo I'm not going to vote to give you any money to study it. You've had enough time to study. You've either studied it or you're incompetent. Just release the information. That that, that he said that right out. So he'll he'll get and this is a guy when they just did their UFO conference a week ago where they were really going to try and push this through. He ba he was sitting there again, not not a I think he's a friendly guy. I really do think he's a decent guy. But as far as politics goes, he's one of the guys that was with Matt Gates to, like, fucking shut our government down, throw the fucking speaker out because they couldn't get their way and all this other bullshit. At least I think he was. And if I'm wrong, I apologize. But um, this is a guy who stood up there. He goes, man, I'm, I'm not saying it's perfect. I'm not saying I wouldn't have done it a little differently. But he goes, I am really happy that Chuck Schumer has taken an interest. And he goes, I would, he said right out, he goes, I would be more than happy if we passed Chuck Schumer's amendment. He goes, I really would. I'd be very, very happy if we could get at least that much done. And uh, and he, he, so, you know, I think he would support it, but just let him know that, you know, hey, this is the this is the executive order. Make it public. Let Congress know. Let, them, let every fucking military contractor know. Send it out to everybody in the fucking intelligence department and let them know that if this bill does not pass Congress and come to his desk, the the unaltered, you know, basically what him and Schumer had worked on, he had his people work with him, but if that does not come to him to be signed so that we can set up the panel and, and do this, that he's going to sign that executive order and everything will, you know, he, you know, he's been working with Schumer, Schumer's been working, others, you know, there, there's people in Congress that want this to come out, but they've said, hey, if there's national security reasons, fine. But everything can't be a national security issue. And, and this is the thing, and this was brought up by Ross. I've brought it up probably after they did. But, you know, this there's stuff in that UFO thing. Yes, I honestly think that if, if even half the stuff on UFOs is true, then there is likely some stuff we can't release yet. Might have to might have to take a little look at it. Uh, 
But there's a lot of it that isn't. And they could do what Harry Truman did after World War II, where you take anything that isn't weapon-related, you take anything that is not inherently harmful, and, and what I'm talking about is, and I, again, I'm not, I'm not equating the two, I'm just using it as an example. There is talk around Tesla that Tesla had developed some kind of a thing and uh, he had developed some kind of thing. It was like the size of an old wind-up alarm clock and with it he could create earthquakes. I have no idea if it's true, you know, but let's just use that as an example, okay? Something like that maybe should not be set loose on the world, you know, maybe. Um... But there's a lot of stuff like if you have if you have technology that's been discovered that would eliminate the need for oil like some kind of a some kind of a perpetual energy machine or something you could put on a car that would make cars run on like one twentieth the gasoline they do now or something that would allow a car to run on a renewable energy source and we could get rid of oil. Well, hey, that should be made public. And I think we need to do with any UFO technology like they did with nuclear technology, and they need to separate it between stuff that's clearly a weapon, stuff that is either not understood or could maybe technically be harmful, even if not a weapon. This was something, uh, it's slightly different, but this was something uh, Lou Elizondo had said when he was asked if... Uh, if these aliens were dangerous or hostile. And I, I think the person in the question used both. And Lou, Lou goes, well, we got to take like a step back. Because he goes, um, when you use the word hostile, that denotes an intent. And he goes, and I'm not sure that we can honestly give an intent with what we're seeing. And he goes, I want to give you the difference. He goes, now, if you go to an airport and you are near the runways where they're landing and taking off jets, if you stand on that runway when a jet's either coming by or taking off, he goes, are you in danger? Yes. He goes, if you get hit with a jet jet wash, it could kill you. It could hurt you. It could, it could seriously damage you, you know, when you get thrown around by the jet wash. He goes, is the pilot trying to harm you? He said, no, because he probably doesn't know you're there. And he, and he said, and that, that's where he was getting at. You know, there's some of this stuff we really don't know. Uh, now, you take, like, Skinwalker Ranch. Now, they've had that out there, and there's been instances where they've gotten, like, uh, Travis, I think it was first or second season, he was fucking around with, like, a cistern lid or a well, and he got hit. Uh, it wasn't technically a lethal dose of radiation. And it might have been gamma. But what happened was he got hit with like a year's, year's worth of x-rays in like a minute. And he had radiation burns. He had to go to the doctor because it had damaged. I think, I think they had to do something to his knuckles because uh, something had happened to his knuckles and he had to go get that taken care of. Well, my honest opinion, if you, you take sites like Skinwalker Ranch, whatever is there, I think could honestly kill those people if it wanted to. And I think the fact that they're still alive is an indication that, no, that this thing is not hostile, but clearly, based on just some of the stuff they've had on the show and, and comments that come from what I would say are credible people, uh, there is a danger there. There is absolutely a danger there, but there doesn't seem to be any hard evidence, and I'm not really sure there's any circumstantial evidence that uh, that there's any harm intended. Now, you take like some of the stuff that the uh, Warrens investigated. I talked about uh, uh, the Warrens UF or uh, alien or uh, paranormal investigation. Some of those investigations, yes, there appears to be an intent there, if you believe the stories. 
there clearly seems to be an intent of harm. And, uh, you know, so that, but write them and have them, you know, let them know that, hey, you either reverse your bullshit, you talk to your congressman that you've bought and paid for, and you let them know to get the fuck out of the way. We've got bipartisan support. We've got a majority of people that want this. You get the fuck out of the way. Or, and that's fine. They're, they're a co-equal branch of government. They got a right to do that. Well, here's what I'm going to do as my job as co-equal branch of government. If that's not done, if that does not come to my desk, I'm going to fucking out this shit. There won't be nothing. There won't be no panel to decide what's good or what's bad. It'll just be done. Oh, I thought it was a portal. And, you know, and that's what I'll do. That's what I'll do if I don't get this. You know, I'm all for a bipartisan thing that will look at the documents, much like we did with JFK, stuff that might be dangerous, we'll look, we'll put aside stuff that we deem, you know, civilians deem, our experts deem are not dangerous. Whether you like it or not in the military, whether you like it or not in the intelligence community, it's going to be made public. You know, one way or another, it's going to be made public. And you let them know that's going to be signed. And then if you have to sign it, then what you do is you uh, then impanel a special prosecutor. You need to let them know this. We, the people, need to let them know. You let, the, you let them know that when you sign that, if you are forced to sign it, that you will be empowering a special prosecutor to sit there and basically follow the evidence. And I told him, I go, it's like Watergate. Have them follow the fucking money. And have them follow that money, the billions that come up missing every time the Defense Department is audited. The money, the millions or more that, that whistleblowers have said, yeah, it's being misappropriated. I go, investigate that. I go, have a 100% transparency on money for the government. No more blank lists. For, again, this is, this is his nuclear option. This is how he gets these guys to the fucking pay table and stop fucking around like they've been doing for 70 fucking years. You know, 100% transparency that the Congress will never, no longer be allowed to vote on something where it's, oh, it's black project stuff, we can't tell you. As, as, you know, as a co-equal branch of government, you can basically do an executive order and tell them no more of this. You will basically give a, a summary list with a moderate description explaining every black budget item. Well, we can't do that. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. See, here's my executive order right here, fuckhead. That means you can. And, and well, well, no, you guys should have fucked, you guys fucked around and now you're finding out this is what's going to happen. There will be no more of this uh, fucking black budget shit. Now, you don't have to give them details, but you will let them know. And if you fucking lie to Congress, if you disobey my executive order, when we find out, you will go to jail. You know, there will be this executive order out there. Everybody in the government will know about it. Everybody will know you guys are fucking around if you guys are not being honest about what we're telling you to be honest about. Your days are done. You fucked around. I told you I wanted that. You didn't get, well, yeah, yeah, no, fuck you. This is what we're doing now. And uh, th these people that are in there that are unelected, they got to understand they are not kings either. Just like Donald Trump's finding out he's not a king, they need to find out they're not fucking kings anymore. And... Uh, so, you know, let's get this done. Uh, write them, let them know. And then the other thing I would say is uh, when the DOJ starts looking at it, they need to prosecute anybody for criminal charges, and they also need to look at any illegal or unfair trade practices by uh, the, DOJ, the DOJ or DOD and intelligence, and they need to basically take civil actions to basically disband these people. If you know, if you got, if you got all these um, companies that make all these weapons, fucking give them the Enron treatment. Fucking lock up their executives, lock up the senior personnel, strip all their fucking assets, and fucking hand it off to companies that'll follow the fucking law. Because if you don't, if you absolutely don't, this will happen again. This will absolutely happen again. 
I think I'm going to go around this. I can come back when I got a light, when I finally, when and if I finally get a light I can come back and fly over. Oh my God. I do, I do like the, it, some of it's a pain in the ass, but some of this new, uh, some of this new, uh, terrain generation thing is really spectacular. I, I'm, I'm a fan, but th this is what we need to do. This is absolutely what we need to do. Get that done, please. You know, if, if you've never done one of these, please do this one. The other one I would ask, but right now, at this moment, because uh, I don't think I need it today or tomorrow, uh, hopefully, in, in a perfect world, I would hope that I would never need it, but I'm really asking you, write your congressman, get them to legalize assisted suicide, but for right now, you can kind of skip that. Don't worry, I'm gonna that one I'm going to be doing till I die or I'm cured. And uh, e even if I win the lottery, I would still be asking for that because my health is not getting better. It's just not. Um, I kind of hope that at least where I was a year ago, maybe I'll get back to normal there, but I'm not seeing it right now. But my nurse practitioner did say that it was a pretty bad break and it can take at least a year, maybe more for it to fully heal. But, uh, yeah, I just, but um, right now, this is priority number one. Write the president, write the leadership in Congress, uh, and write your elected officials in your district, in your state, or call them. Told you how to do that. Uh, please don't feel shy to just clip that. If you're on YouTube or if you're on uh, Twitch, don't be shy about clipping that and passing that around and asking people. Maybe even link this whole episode. This, this is the one to do it uh, because, again, if you you don't even have to be somebody that wants to know about UFOs. If you are just somebody who doesn't like the fact that they pissed away billions of dollars for either UFOs or a disinformation campaign or some kind of a secret project so that they could sell weapons to some dipshit, uh, get on this. And, you know, and, and don't give out any carve-outs to criminals. Uh, if, if you've got people that have broken the law, if you've, got, if you've got people that did illegal things with their business and they have to be broken up, then that's what has to happen. Because what are we seeing with the Republicans? What are we seeing with Donald Trump? If you don't hold them accountable, they will eventually just do it again. So please, please, I'm asking you, I'm begging you, Get this done. Uh, might not do any good, but hey, I'll feel better. Hopefully, you'll feel better. But, you know, get get a hold of them and let them know that we need this done. If, if you've got, you know, two jackasses in the house and a couple of their little fucking butt-licking sycophants in there that are doing this, well, then fuck it. Just declassify everything. Don't, don't fuck around with their bullshit. You know, um... This is what we need, and and this is what I mean, this this might seem political, but I just want to say I was watching a video and it was at Marjorie Taylor Greene, and she was all mad, she was all fucking mad because they're working on the NDAA. I think it's the uh, I might be wrong. It's either a standalone spending bill for something, or it's a, a continuing resolution. Well. She was supposed to be uh, a delegate or whatever. And then what sounded, and I might be wrong, but the way it sounded to me, and she was talking a mile a minute, walking, it was a, it was a clip of a longer conversation. And let's be honest, um, she makes me look like a college professor. She's pretty fucking stupid. And, uh, but she was going on, well, you know, we were going to pass this. I was selected to be one of the uh, delegates. I think they were going to basically pass something different than what the Senate did. And then she was going to go, it's what they call a committee conference where uh, the House passes a bill, the Senate passes a bill. Then they have a little converse with, uh, uh, a conference with uh, delegates from both the House and the Senate. They come to one bill together and then they send it back for a vote at the Senate and the House. 
And then if that passes, then it goes to the president for signing. Well, that that's the way they were doing it. And I think it was more of this bullshit where they're going to be sitting and they're going, well, you got to do what I want because we're going to shut the government down if you want. We're getting 100% of what, I want, what we want. You're getting 0% of what you want, or we're just going to shut the government down. Fuck you. And that new speaker, who's probably going to get voted out pretty soon, he, uh, he basically worked on... Uh, where am I? He basically worked with Schumer. He worked with... Uh, what I might do is I might just skirt the edge of the... Uh, I might skirt the edge of the Mesa because I, I, I think this is beautiful. I really like it. I just don't want to try and climb all over it uh, right now. Let me make sure I put it back in. Yep, we're okay, we're not in peaceful anymore. I don't like traveling with that because I did this on the last map before uh, before I fucked it up. I, uh, I I really wasn't, and there's times, and those, I'm trying not to just go out that much when I'm like that. But, uh, oh, we can go through. This one ain't too bad to navigate. But, uh... The speaker apparently worked with Chuck Schumer, and I think she called it a Haas panel or a Haas group. I have no idea what it is. I literally do not know what it is. And what they did is they came to an agreement. <laughs> oh, excuse me. They came to an agreement, and they just basically... She was not involved. Like, uh, you know... She she wasn't involved in the plan the negotiation of it. Uh, they worked it out where there is not going to be a need for a conference, and they just sidelined her stupid ass. You know, hey, good deal. This is what they need to do with this. So th this is why, and I'm not kidding you. The, the, these Democrats, I like them. I'm gonna vote for them more. I might just stay home. I ain't feeling good anyways. But I gotta be honest with you. This is fucking stupid shit. Uh, you know, they're, they're, they, they'll sit there. This is something important. Again, if, if there really are, and you've got, you've got credible people, people a hell of a lot more believable than I am. They're going to Congress and saying, yeah, this shit's real. Now you've even got the, the, the Department of Defense, the Pentagon going, well, yeah, these videos are real. We don't know what they are. And the, uh, the idea that the Democrats are going to sit there, and, and it's bipartisan. This is not, this isn't like health care or some of the other shit. This is bipartisan. They, they got some pretty fucking hardcore Republicans that are supporting this. You know, that one episode of, uh, that one episode of Skinwalker, and, and again, this, this guy, I'm not, he might be a nice guy. I really don't know him. I, but Again, he seems like a useless fucking idiot for Congress. He really does. Senator Mike Lee, Utah senator. Um, he went there, and he was like Mark Rubio uh, in an interview that I saw Rubio. But he, he went to Skinwalker. He agreed to be on the show. And uh, I think more than, unless he was, and I don't think he's that big of an idiot, but unless he's an idiot, first class, full, five-star, flaming fucking idiot, uh, he probably knew the biography of everybody there. I would be willing to bet that Eric on there is got a pretty good reputation as a scientist. Uh, you've got Tra uh, Travis Taylor, Dr. Travis Taylor. He was like a child prodigy. I think I, I think he's got like two or three, de you know, master's degree or PhDs now. And I think he got one of them before he was 18. He was like the Doogie Howser of science. And uh, he he asked, and, and he, he seemed really uncomfortable, like I've seen Rubio, when uh, Rubio was basically being interviewed. And he said, well, look, I, I don't know if I believe this. But he goes, here's where I'm at on this. And it was real similar to something I heard a former uh, British government official say about the Rendlesham Forest incident. Uh, he goes, either we have, either it's true, you know, it's, it's either true, because he goes, we're being told this stuff by uh, high-ranking people 
in the intelligence or in, in the community like these these guys are high ranking and they have a security clearance for their jobs and he goes these people are telling us this stuff now either it's true or we've got people with extremely high level security clearances that are having a delusion and, and he goes I don't understand he goes I don't see how either one of those is acceptable either this stuff is real and we need to get to the bottom of it or or um, these people are delusional and we got to take the car keys away for them before they run this shit into the ground you know and uh, Mike Lee was the same way he just he really seemed nervous and see some of the stuff that's happened the uh, I think it's the Attorney General for uh, Utah he saw it he looked a little freaked out and he could clearly see that the military was fucking around over their property and generally speaking the military Posse Comitatus Act does not allow the military to operate on American soil and according to him he confirmed it there there was a helicopter flying around and he confirmed that it was a military helicopter. He he pulled it up for him, the information on it. And, uh, but, uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. But Mike Lee was like, well, is it possible this is another country doing this and not a UFO? And I think it was Travis. He made the comment. He goes, well, yeah, if they're like at least 50 years, I think it was more than that, but he said as long as they're at least 50 years ahead of us technology, yeah, because he goes, these are these things are doing things that we can't do. And that really rattled him. You, you could see it on his face. That, that really seemed to rattle him. And uh, I got to go switch to the other map when I get to water or get out of the water. Yeah, I really like the terrain generation on the on the on the modern day game. It's so much better than when I started. Uh, it's annoying sometimes when you're trying to do stuff, but it oh man, it's just I think it's beautiful. I really do. Okay, we can. Uh... When I get back to the base, I'm going to have a seriously, just keep in mind what I said. I don't think that what I'm asking you to do is really unreal. If, if you're someone, and again, this is not even an ET thing. You do not, you do not have to believe in this shit, but you do have to believe that billions of dollars comes up missing. According to Timber Chet, every year they do one of those, every year that they've done these audits on the military, uh... What is that? Oh, sweet. Okay. I came from a different direction, so I'm all turned around. But, uh, yeah, so let's get that done. Uh, hopefully I'll be back tomorrow. I might even get on later and do a Diablo stream. I, I at least got this one done. This one was important to me, so I kind of wanted to do it first. Uh, yeah, so let's get that done. Let's get going on this. And... Uh, That just blew me away because, again, it was just, I think it was like last week. It was no more than a couple weeks ago. Uh, you had that UFO. They looked so pumped. Like they were, and then, again, the way the reporting is on it, it sounds like there's two douchebags that are holding everything up, and I'm getting sick of this shit. I, I really am. And they, I don't know how many of these people in the house are being threatened or bullied, like Grush talked about. Uh, I know they did it. They did it to that one uh, governor over the Phoenix Lights. Uh, he started get, wanting to get the answers to it. Next thing you know, 
he's facing charges. As soon as he stepped on the, the investigation and did what he could to cover it up, well, then all of a sudden, you know, charges were being dropped, plea deals were materializing out of thin air. And I got to be honest, I like you take Mendendez, you know, it looks like Mendendez really did something wrong. But then again, uh, some of the stuff with Bob Lazar looks bad, and it, it's pretty clear that they have manufactured that. So I don't even want to guess if Menendez really did it or if they manufactured shit. I don't know. But it doesn't sound like anything he's being charged with is new. It sounds like if it's real, they dug it up and or manufactured it just to fuck with them around the time when they want all this disclosure. And uh, so please, please uh, follow this call to action. Get it done. Maybe share this with your friends. Uh, there, there could really be some good, if, if they get this and, they, and even if it takes 10, 15 years, if they get this done and they start digging into this shit and they stop letting these corporations like what, and this is what president Eisenhower, the Republican, the, the champion of world war two, the guy that led us into battle and victory over, uh, Japan and Germany in world war two. He warned us about what we're seeing right now. The military industrial context, con, uh, con, our uh, industrial military complex, just basically running roughshod over this shit. So we need it to stop. We really need it to stop. I hope you get into it. Uh, peace out, and hopefully I'll check you out tomorrow.